Shop update! Oh, look at how dirty you are! So I thought it's time for a little shop update, kind of what's been going on, what I've been doing. Um, so let's get into it. Well, it is summer after all, and in between projects and videos, I have managed to get to the beach. Twice. If you haven't been, the Oregon beaches are wonderful. They are wild and huge, quite desolate at times, and just gorgeous. A little chilly, but very nice. Sometimes it's just nice with a bit of a break to get refreshed to get back to the shop. I have so many cool projects in the works, and now I've got some extra wood to work with as well. The viewer was cool enough to contact me about getting some wood, so I'm just on my way there now. It's a nice drive. This is Mark. He's a wood turner, and he has quite the collection of maple and walnut, which he was so kind to share with me. Look at all this. Anyway, a lot of chunks to burrow. Love checking out his bowls here and his lathe. Make sure to check out his Etsy shop. There's a link in the description below where you can find some of his work. I got some awesome wood that I am very excited to start using. As you can see, I have enough to last me now for a lot of projects to come. Thanks so much, Mark. This is so cool. And talking about turning, here's some footage of unboxing my mini lathe a while back. I haven't gotten a chance to play with the lathe quite as much as I would like yet. But turning is just so much fun, and it opens up so many possibilities of things which are hard to accomplish any other way. And now with all this new wood, I can't wait to get into a whole bunch of new turning projects. So you guys out there who are subscribed to my second channel, Darbin Notes, and might have seen that I put out 15 videos the other day. So those were Patreon videos. So every Friday I put out uh, an exclusive private uh, video, or like a shop update, like kind of what's going on, uh, that I put out to my awesome patrons on Patreon. Um, so I thought that there's been some time passing and they're sitting there, so why don't I release them to the rest of my subscribers as a thank you for watching. Of course, I did forget to check that little button where it doesn't go out to everybody's feed. But here's a, there's a playlist in the description. Go and check those out if you're interested to see what's been going on there. Mail time. Tyler G. DIY Tyler. As seen on YouTube. Very cool. Paul Jackman. Jackman Carpentry. Thanks very much, Paul. The note was on the sticker. I like that. Roush Woodworks. Roush Woodworks. Thanks a lot, Jason. Very cool. A little. This is really cool. Um, thanks so much, Chris. Chris Pine has a YouTube channel, and I remember a couple months ago he did uh, a similar mallet like this on the lathe. I'll put a link to that video in description. Go and check it out. Thank you so much. Very, very nice. Stan Ingwood, future scroll saw artist. Very nice. Thank you so much. This next one is from Joe Mooney. So let's see what we got here. I got mesquite and ipe. Love ipe. Mesquite dark. Looks kind of like mahogany, African mahogany. So this is a soil block maker for starting garden seeds. So Joe's got a really cool channel called Homestead Economics. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. He does like homesteading and woodworking and things like that. Thank you so much, Joe, very nice. So I just ordered this online the other day. I hope it is, but I think it is, and it is. So yes, this is a Raspberry Pi that I'm going to be using for a couple of projects coming up soon. Uh, so for all of you guys who don't know, it's basically a small computer uh, that you can do a lot of really interesting, cool things with. And you can you hook it up to a monitor and you can program on it and do all kinds of really cool things. Q&A. Okay, so here are some common questions, questions that people email and ask in comments and on Twitter and in different places. What does Darwin Orver mean? Okay, so Darwin Orver is a play on my dog's name, Darwin. Here's Darwin. Darwin! So his name is Darwin. However, through kind of a play on words, his name turned into Darwin, which turned into Darwin Orver. And then I thought that's a really cool name. Uh, so that's what I decided to use for my YouTube channel. My name is Lynn, however. It does tend to cause some confusion. So a lot of people ask me where I'm from. 
So I'm originally from Sweden, however now I live in Oregon, US. So all of those people who think that my accent is weird or strange and I got a lot of people who think I'm from like England or Australia, which I don't really get, but no, I'm from Sweden, but now I live in the US. A lot of people ask me about my shop, the fact that I have two shops. Um, so I have one outdoor shop where I have um, most of my power tools, um, table saw, band saw, miter saw, a lathe, those kinds of things. And uh, then I have the shop which I built, which is more of an indoor shop. And I decided the shop is small, it's 12 by 16. And so I made a decision uh, to kind of keep the power tools, the big tools outside, mostly because it's a small space and because I really don't like dust. So I like to kind of keep it nice and neat and clean. So I used the indoor shop to assemble, to glue, to, you know, use hand tools. Um, I also built my little tinker area. I've got a computer in there. Um, you know, it's just like a nice kind of clean place to go into. Uh, so I do all the sanding and cutting and all the kind of messy stuff outside. And it's working out, you know, really good, especially in the summer, it's fine. In the winter it can be a little cold to be outside. And I'm really working, I'm thinking about it kind of enclosing the outdoor shop a little bit more just to protect it from the wind and the rain a bit more. But so far it's been working out good. My yet. Paul Mayette's wood shop. Thank you very much, Paul. Ronnie Sutton. Oh, note. It's a wood thing. Thank you. <laughs> Tommy G workshop. Oh, it's a tiny mallet. It's adorable. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tommy's got a cool YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link in the description. And a little clamp. And a sticker, Tommy G workshop. Thank you so much. That is adorable. Has to go on the wall somewhere. Turn, finish turn. Three, thank you. Yeah.